What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So a little while back, you guys might have saw a video on my channel talking about what happened to my Civic SI. So if you guys have been up to date with the vlogs, after I sold my DC5 RSX, um, the blue RSX, that was my daily driver initially. Uh, I don't have a daily driver, so what happened was I designated my Civic SI to be my daily driver to and from work. Um, but that hasn't really been the case sadly so it has been over a month now since I've driven my Civic SI uh, again if you guys haven't watched that video make sure to watch that first but a quick little recap uh, so what happened is I bought this car actually quite a while ago um, I was looking at some paperwork I bought it back in December 2019 so yeah that's quite a while ago that's two years ago almost two years ago um, but what happened was the title wasn't transferred uh, because of some paperwork issue and not because I didn't transfer it um, I bought it from my boss Long back then I was a customer at the shop I was getting my Mitsubishi Lancer turbo build being done I saw this deal came up he was selling it it was pretty clean good deal I was like let me pick it up so I bought it uh, didn't really expect to buy one but I did and uh, what happened was like I said pretty much the car was still under his name or the dealership name um, and we didn't do the title transfer because the car was a dealer car it was a little more complicated blah 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 he was going to take care of it for me but fast forward two years time dragged on and he never really did still had the dealer license plates on it so you guys watch my videos sometimes you guys are wondering why is the license plate saying dealership um, that's because it's, it used to be a dealer car um, but with dealer cars you have an expiration date and that expired a while back uh, so whenever it was time for me to daily drive the car, he was like, it's not too safe because you don't have your registration sticker, you don't have the title on your name, if you get pulled over, it could be a hassle. So I know it could have been taken care of earlier, but after I saw my RSX, he felt the urgency that we needed to take care of this ASAP. So yeah, he tried to get it done, but you guys know, if you're trying to do title transfer, stuff like that, especially here in Austin at the Travis Tech's office, it takes forever. So actually the uh, appointment he set was back in October, but it was set for December 1st. That was the first available one. Um, we actually found this place called Sentex Title that does it for Travis County as well. Um, that's way quicker. You can pretty much walk in. They can get it done for a little bit more. So that's what he did yesterday. But now they need me there. So yeah, I'll just take you guys there. Um, enough of renting, but I think today, fingers crossed, we might be able to take home my Civic Si. So I don't think I show you guys on camera, but the last few days I've been driving around this Mercedes. Um, as you guys know, I've been having quite a few different loaner cars. I've been driving an S2000, a Nissan Altima, a T Toyota Tacoma truck with a manual transmission, and this Mercedes. So yeah, I've been having quite a few different loaner cars over the span of, I would say, the past what five or six weeks that I haven't been driving my Civic Si. This car has been the daily for the last few days because all the other cars have been lent to someone else. So let's go ahead and start it up. Possibly the last day that I'm driving this car. Pretty nice, pretty clean, you know. I personally never owned a Mercedes before. Um, never owned any German cars, as a matter of fact. Not that I'm against it, it's just, you know, cost of maintenance more expensive. Let's go ahead and start her up. So it's an older model, this is a 07, pretty nice, have your back seats, you know, leather seats. Nice fancy features. And one thing I really like about them, oh, pretty cool, so you can press this right here. Fancy stuff that German cars have. I'm gonna put it down for now because you know it's the daytime I don't really need that shade it's not too that sunny um, but yeah like I said I've been on rotation driving different cars if I get my title transfer done and registration sticker done today I'll get my license plates and all that I'll probably take the Civic Si home I also have the paperwork here let me show you guys so Sentex Auto Title that's where it is like I said pretty much the same as going to your Travis Tech County office if you're here in Austin for title transfer and registration. Uh, we have the uh, 
title to the car over here. I'm not really going to show you guys the details. All that good stuff. All my paperwork. So yeah. And then we also have the inspection. We already passed inspection. So let's go ahead and head over there. Fingers crossed. Hopefully get all that done today. Alright. Just got over here. And they open at 9. Right now it's not even 9 a.m. yet. We already have quite a few cars. So let me go ahead and get in line. And like I said, fingers crossed. Hopefully you get this done. So just done, pretty quick, all in all, I think I spent maybe 30 minutes waiting, another like 15 minutes there. So I have my license plates now, super awesome, also have my registration sticker. So yeah, like I said, I haven't been able to get its car transfer title uh, in my name and registered for a while now, so I'm glad. So what that means is I'll probably get my Civic Si back today, uh, it has been pretty dirty so I'll probably wash it down and all that. And here's my SI, super dirty as you guys can tell, super neglected. I'm going to go ahead and clean her down. But right now what I'm going to do first is change out the license plate. So buy to this dealer license, as you can tell, expired a long time back. I'm going to throw on my new license plate. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put my registration sticker. I didn't have one previously, so let's go ahead and slap it on. Bam, so registration sticker on. All that's left to do now is pretty much wash the car and get some gas, because I'm super low on gas. All right, I have the car out here. As you can tell, super nasty and dirty. It's just been outside neglected, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick wash. And can't forget to clean your nasty wheels. Use this nice brush. Get my wheels nice and clean. Before I drive back, I'm also gonna check my tire pressure because it's gotten pretty cold. And I haven't checked it in over a month. Alright, so all set, we have our license plate on, our registration on, car is washed down. All that's left to do is get gas and head home. Just got here to the gas station, go here to Shell, my favorite gas station. So let's go ahead and fill up some gas. Alright, so full tank, 10 gallons, about 37, almost 40 bucks. Gas is pretty expensive right now. The struggles. Alright, so gas fill up all done. So right now I'm just gonna head home. Like I said, it's been a while since I've driven this thing. I'm actually gonna take the tow road today, even though I'm gonna have to pay, just because the tow is much more fun to cruise on. So let's go ahead and embark on about one hour drive back home. A few moments later. So my Civic Si just made it back home, home sweet home. She's finally back in the garage. So yeah, expect to see more content on my Civic Si. Like I said, I've missed this car. It's been quite a while. It's been over a month since I've driven this car or even really seen this car. 
Um, that's why you guys might be wondering why there's no videos or stuff like that. That's because I don't even see the car. So I hope you guys missed the Civic SI because I really did. Um, just driving back home, the sound of the exhaust, how it drives, it's all perfect. Um, but I do have to say, because I've drive, driven the S2000 for quite a few days, I'm kind of comparing the S2000 to the SI. The SI suspension is softer, so I need more stiff suspension. I need more sticky tires too. Uh, so yeah, it kind of, I guess, inspired me to build the SI more. So if you guys stick to the end, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to your channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.